If you're a plumber, if you're a plumber, you started a business, um, all the guys you hire are going to be just like you, want to plumb just like you, want to take care of your customer just like you, and especially want to take care of your equipment just like you. That's right. <laughs> End of episode. <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 413th episode of Potty Talk, and we're in a four-part series here. In this episode, we're going to cover part two mm -hmm. of our turning pipe dreams into reality, mm -hmm. all right? Well, we're taking a look at here, you know, in the, in the first episode, you know, we started the idea of, you know, where do where you want to be this time next year? Mm -hmm. And so we were kind of looking back, we reevaluating the past year okay. and then kind of um, looking forward. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, as, as we're recording these and these are set to air for the first time, um, you know, we're right here at a new year. Right. Okay. But mm -hmm. you may be viewing these, you know, sometime within the year, it could be October of the year. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter here. We're talking about a 12 month period. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as we're looking at where do you want your plumbing business to be, you know, this time next year, right? This is not about new year's resolutions. Yes. Not right. That. And so in this episode, we're taking a look at a, a very key and vital asset, okay? okay? One that's often overlooked. And so if we're looking about going, where do we want to be next time, you know, this time next year, we need to look at this key, key asset. What is it? I'm dying to okay? know. Okay. It's a human asset, <laughs> your human assets. Okay. And in particular, your plumbers. Mm. Okay. So we, we want to take this time just to take a, a quick look at, you know, um, you know, how we're handling our plumbers. Okay. Oh. They're a key, you know, this, we, again, I say we, we often overlook it because, you know, we're, we're thinking about customers and what mm -hmm. we need to get customers. Right. And of course we're a plumber. We just kind of have our plumbers out there hanging, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, right. but, but they're a key asset. Yes. Okay. They, 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 they are you know, the asset. Right. Mm -hmm. um, very, very important. Okay. Yes. We need them to do the work. So what, what do we need to do, do with them? Okay. Okay. Number one. Mm -hmm. All right. Evaluate team expectations. Okay. Okay. Take mm -hmm. time to evaluate your expectations. Are you giving clear expectations? Mm -hmm. So we, we can take a look at, you know, SOPs. Mm -hmm. standard, standard operating procedures. Thank you, sweetheart. All right. You know all those big fancy I words. Do. Okay. <laughs> that, that's what SOPs are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have standard operating procedures right. in place? Well, see, I don't think yeah. you really need them because if you're a plumber, if you're a plumber, you started a business, um, all the guys you hire are going to be just like you, want to plumb just like you, want to take care of your customer just like you. And especially want to take care of your equipment, just like you. That's right. <laughs> Not. End of episode. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Wait, okay, that, that is the pipe dream. That's the pipe that, dream that's right the pipe there. Dream. <laughs> and that just doesn't happen. It so does not. We, we have to have it laid out mm -hmm. for them. Yes. Okay. But often, and again, you know, you know, I made this mistake starting out. We just, you know, the job came in and, and hey, go, go do the job or whatever. Okay. We just took for granted that they're going to, again, do the things that it comes naturally probably to you as a plumbing business owner, and it might not to them. And and if it, it some do, but is it your way, the way you want to serve the customer, the way you want your equipment taken care of, the way you want um, a technician to behave? It's your way. Right, exactly. Coming down to, you know, I, I hear guys all the time talk about being frustrated that guys don't get to the first job or show up uh -huh. until like 830 or whatever. Right. Well, have you, have you laid out the clear expectation that mm -hmm. you are to be at your first job or at the you know the shop by eight o'clock? Right. Is that laid out for them? Okay. And that's reminded. what we're talking about. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what we're talking about. SOPs. Right. Okay. Are, are, the, are those expectations, expectations clear mm -hmm. from wearing the uniform? Right. You know? Um, you know, yeah, you can be all frustrated. Oh, I hate how, you know, you're griping around the office. I hate how Joe just comes in and his uniform's all dirty and his shoes are all scuffy and, or his boots are or whatever. Well, have you laid out to him what a uniform should look like? Um, you know, one thing and um, was, would be really cool. You get one of those um, like uh, standing fat heads or and they call it a fat head or something. The the cutout of a yeah. of you or right. whatever of how perfectly and then have it in your your um, employee tech room or or whatever your meeting room and then have it perfectly dressed the way you want them to dress. So it's yeah. a constant reminder. Yeah, we had mm -hmm. that. Yeah, and mm -hmm. the fat head is like from the sports side. You know, with yeah. your favorite you can get your favorite athlete or whatever and right. it sticks on the wall whatever mm -hmm. you do that with with you with okay you. with you perfectly you know and then unify you want the uniform to look what they're wearing and that kind of a mm -hmm. thing the belt the shoes um even the the t-shirt underneath do you want it to be colored do you want it to be white richard what color did you always want the t-shirts to be white white he <laughs> drove him insane if somebody showed up and anything other than white didn't matter what color it was i um, always had to be white right um, and that was and that was a great example i mean i had clear i 
Yeah, you know, so clear expectations. Peace. It's, it's clear mm-hmm. expectations. This is exactly how you're going to wear your shirt. What color socks? You know. What color socks? Black socks. Not white. Not white socks. Black socks. Black socks. Okay. Mm-hmm. Dark, you know, black socks. Mm-hmm. Uh, what kind of shoes? Mm-hmm. You know, I, even down, down to the type of shoes. Right. Okay. And, and then belt. Belt. What kind of belt? What color belt? Wear a belt. Right. <laughs> exactly. Right there. Shirts tucked in. No mm-hmm. pants hanging down. Mm-hmm. You know, don't want to see no butt cracks. No, no, not getting jiggy with it. Okay. Just your shirt, <laughs> your shirt's tucked in. Okay. Right. Um, so we made that very, very clear, even how, you know, the, the truck would look. Right. Okay. You know, are, are have you made those expectations clear? Right. Not just, you know, thought about it. Right. Okay. And, and expect. Or, or yeah, expect. Okay. Well, surely he knows. Surely right. he knows. He's got to know that I want him right. to take care of my truck and not have crap all over the dashboard or, you know, just junk in the back where he's got to move all kinds of junk just to be able to get in and, you know, get whatever parts or materials or whatever. Have you talked to them about it? Have you laid out specifically? And then it, again, it is a constant reminder, but the first thing is, is to lay out very clear expectations, very clear. Right. Are they, and it leads to, you know, the second point in there is the idea, are, are they focused? Do you have your, your plumbers focused on what you want your company focused on? Mm. You know, so, you know, the example I had with, with, you know, with our plumbing business, I got away from putting, you know, focusing on, on revenue or sales, mm-hmm. p- pushing sales, which I goes again, counter, you know, counterintuitive, counterintuitive and, mm-hmm. and, and, and counter grain to everything else that's out there is pushing sales, pushing sales. Right. sales but, but my, my experience and is what I teach in the success Academy as well. Look, and, and I know you're experiencing this. Your guys don't care about making money about sales. They just, when they, when you're pushing sales and those kinds of numbers, it, it's just uh, thinking you just want me to make you more money. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I got away from that. And even what was really important, the sales was um, selling hours. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we, we get into this in the Academy or whatever, right, right. but mm-hmm. I changed, you know, was really focusing on selling hours. Well, that turned out to be a good thing when I got my guys focusing on selling hours. That's what I put up on the leaderboard. No more sales was how many hours they sold. Right. Well, that translated to the money I wanted to make. Mm-hmm. So, but, but by just making it hours, the guys were more competitive. They were more comfortable with that and they got right. more competitive with that. And it wasn't so was, about you. So, right. Mm-hmm. So I wound up making more money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the company wound up making more money. They made more money too. Mm-hmm. All right. But it's, I had them focusing on what I was now fo- really focusing on with, with my plumbing business mm-hmm. was selling hours. Mm-hmm. And so that was laid out clear for them with the expectations. Yes. You know? um, another thing too is um, how are you training your guys? Ongoing training, um, like the different equipment, right? Water right. softeners, pumps, um, your drain equipment, whatever it might be. Getting them additional training constantly does a couple of things. One, it gives them um, confidence with that those materials or those, those pieces of equipment. Um, and also um, that that tells them that you are investing in them, that you as a business owner, you, you as the company is willing to invest in them. And, and guys want that. They want to feel like they're not only part of the company, but also that you, you care enough to invest in, in their future. And these guys want to learn. There's, there's hardly any plumbers. I mean, there's some, but they shouldn't be on your team anyway. They don't want to learn, right. but they, they want to learn because that's their trade. That's, that's their job. And so they most do want to get better at their job and learn new, new things. And so making that um, available to them, you know, having the suppliers come in um, to, to do full training, send some, uh, one of your guys to, you know, one of the places where you can go tour the, whatever it is, doesn't matter. Just they're going to get more confident and then be able to serve the customer even better. If, if they don't know, you know, what a water conditioning system really does or how it works or whatever, they're not going to offer it up to the customer, even though the customer really needs it because she has really, really hard water and it's ruining all of the, the plumbing in the house. Well, if the, if the plumber's not confident in, in being able to pres- present those options, he's not going to. So he's not serving the customer the best way. That is a goal there, sweetheart. You, you point out a couple of things there. First of all, um, like most guys want to, they, they want to live up to your expectations. They want to follow true. your expectations. Mm-hmm. They really do. Mm-hmm. They just they, they see things a little differently. Mm-hmm. So they've been okay with where they were working at before. It was okay for them to roll in at 10 after eight or get to the job at 10 after eight mm-hmm. or whatever. And so it was just how they, they've become accustomed to that. Right. Most guys do want to follow your expectations. Mm-hmm. The ones that don't, that let, lets you know who's not on literally is not on your team and you shouldn't have team. on your team. So right. it makes it easier to move guys on. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and, you know, but having those, those clear expectations mm-hmm. and, you know, the line of getting the training for the guys, you know, look, if, if you know, like, I can remember when we, we switched to the Navian um, tankless water heaters. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I wanted to, because we got, first of all, I, I, I like that product better. Mm-hmm. 
It worked better in our area. We had great distribution, great support. Um, it was, uh, you know, a good financial decision as well. You know, all, all those kinds of things. Um, but my guys weren't trained on it, right. but my company, I, I wanted this for my company. So I need to get my guys focused on that. So we, we sent them to the, all the training. Okay. Yep. So mm -hmm. that's, you know, taking this time to, mm -hmm. to make sure your guys, okay. You know, you get to evaluate your expectations. Right. Are, are they on your program? Mm -hmm. Okay. If, if there's any um, plumbers watching, well, I guess you're all plumbers, or unless you're a business owner, um, put in the comments some of the different training that you've gotten that's been helpful to your team um, to, to learn products or equipment better. Or if you're you know, a plumber that hasn't started a plumbing business, let us know, you know what the things that your company does that um, elevates your skill and your craft um, that's been helpful to you. That'd be, be nice to see. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Good okay. point. Good point there. All right. All right. Hey, point number two, mm -hmm. we'll bring it. All right. Yes. With, with taking care of your guys or, or checking out that asset. Okay. <laughs> recognize and reward. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Take the time to recognize and reward. Mm -hmm. Don't just bark at the guys. Okay. <laughs> Look, I, I get it. You know, we're in the trades and we, we come up through the process here as apprentice and you know, you got some master just beating on you and yelling at you and, and all that. And, and we can tend to take that in as we're owners and part of it can come from frustration or just, hey, this is how I want it done. And this is going to do this. And why aren't you doing it this way? And all that. And you're trying to push. You're trying to win. All that kind of stuff. Right? All right? And we can get caught in that trap. Right? Okay? Don't. Take mm -hmm. some time. Okay? Not just to bark at the guys. But recognize recognize the good things that they're doing. Yes. And then reward them for it. Mm -hmm. Okay? You are, and, well, I'm already, you know, I hear this. And I, felt, I felt it too. I, I remember you getting on me. And I say it with the guys. I'm paying them already. I'm paying them. <laughs> You know, and they're already, I'm paying them. What, 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 what? what do they want? <laughs> what? A kiss? It's their job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, but you know what I'm saying? When you got guys, whether, even if they do do their job and it's just because, you know, they're in a bad, a bad situation. They handled a cu bad customer or a job that went south well. Mm -hmm. um, not well, but well. yeah, they handled it well. Mm -hmm. But not that the job that went south is a well thing. <laughs> or what. Okay. You get what I'm saying here. Right. Okay. Or um, they, they went the extra mile. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it go, go beyond their pay. Okay. Recognize that. Yes. Okay. And, and uh, to them personally, but then also in front of the, other, in front of yes. the team, in front of other people. Um, hey, Joe, you did, you, man, I know that, that call yesterday with Mrs. Jones turned into a nightmare, but well, what, you know, way to stick it out. I really appreciate you sticking it out and handling it and, and representing the company. Well, whatever it might be, that little bit um, is huge. It's right. huge to your team and, and to your, your and, techs. And it's even recognizing your, your, your B, B minus or your C, C plus sure. guy or whatever, your average, average guy that does something. It's easy to recognize the guy, you know, that's always doing well in front of the guys. It's your A player. It's your A player. It's, it's your star, you know, it's your franchise player. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's easy to recognize, recognize them. And then the other guys are just looking at, well, of course, of course, of course. Right. You want to recognize your, your C guy mm -hmm. that happens to do, um, you know, do, and I got I got I'm just going to give this um, example real quick. You know, I, I had a C, C plumber that on a Friday we were doing this waterboard job. You remember that? You know, you, I, I know you're yeah, going to say. This waterboard job. Mm -hmm. And we, we subbed that out. And our bore, our sub, it was boring, got all wrapped up in the water lines underneath the house on Friday afternoon. <laughs> Friday afternoon. And we don't work weekends. Friday afternoon. Okay. Um, so they had no water and it was a nightmare. I didn't know about this, by the way. I didn't know about this. My C player, because I had clear expectations mm -hmm. and been talking about this kind of stuff, took the responsibility, talked to the customer, put, put them up with, we have had cars, uh, like the had M MG cards, cards mm -hmm. we call them for materials and gas. It had a limit on it. So it had a limit. <laughs> they couldn't so they to couldn't go to Mexico or Mexico whatever, take off. Right. <laughs> but he had enough money where he could, he could put someone up in a hotel and dinner. Put them up, not not in a red roof or something cheap. Put them up in a nice hotel. Okay, mm -hmm. took care of that. Customer was upset. Okay, mm -hmm. he handled that. All right, talked with the sub. Came back on his day off on Saturday and solved the problem. Yeah. I didn't know about it until Saturday afternoon. Mm -hmm. Automate your company's day-to-day -day scheduling, dispatching, and billing systems with Field Pulse, a game-changing field management power tool that thousands of businesses just like yours are switching to. Field Pulse makes it easy to bring order to your daily chaos. No more struggling to keep track of your customers, jobs you got going on, or where your guys are at. Field Pulse is the perfect solution for helping you to organize your business, save time, and my favorite part, increase revenue. And with its mobile app, you can access Field Pulse's powerful features to run your business from literally anywhere in the world. 
thrilling QuickBooks integration, award-winning support, and plans starting at just $60 per user, it's simply a no-brainer. I love Fuel Pulse, and I know you will too. Learn more and to schedule a free live demo, go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Fuel Pulse and see why plumbing pros everywhere are making the switch to Fuel Pulse. Recognize that. He made, money, he made great money on that job just because of how, you know, with, with piece rate and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. I gave him extra money and recognized him in front of the, and said, this is, this is a man here. Mm-hmm. Not just a plumbing, but a man who took responsibility. Yeah, well, there's, Anna, there's two things there. Um, he, we had clear expectations that we take care right. of the customer. Whatever it takes, we take care right. of the customer. That was the expectation that, I mean, above everything else, we take care of the customer. And so he, even though he was, you know, C, C-ish player, um, he knew that and, and he did it and he did it all on his own. And so that had to be recognized. It had to be recognized because that's huge. I mean, that he <laughs> immediately went to an A player um, in that respect. But right. that was a huge thing for him to do. So we, we have to recognize it um, in a positive way in front of the team. In front of the team. Um, not, so you get that, that personal recognition, but then financially, mm-hmm. you know, I recognized him as well. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. For, for taking that on. Right. So you got, mm-hmm. so take time and do those things. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Be, be yeah, even if it's that. small, it doesn't, right. it doesn't have yeah, to be where a, this, this huge, you know, big to do or whatever, just how, um, that he got a review. Hey, I saw Mrs. Jones left you a review. Um, she had really good things to say right. about you, whatever, print those reviews out, print them out and put them up on, um, on um, a bulletin board somewhere in the office, or if you've got a meeting room or whatever, um, print those out and put those up. Guys love that. Guys love that. They want to see um, that they've gotten attaboys, if you will, um, or kudos. Um, yeah, just if you've got a whole wall, just start pinning those suckers up. Right. Mm-hmm. So look look to do those kinds. Be, you know, be uh, be aware of doing those kinds of things. Yes. Okay? And that takes intentionality. Right. That's that does a, that does not, I don't know if you were going to talk about that, but uh, that that takes intentionality because you're busy, right? You're, you're a plumbing business owner. You are so busy doing all, wearing all the hats, 57 hats and all. And then also the stress of having a plumbing business. Sometimes it's um, uh, money worries. Sometimes it's employee worries. Sometimes it's customer, whatever it is, you've got all of that. And so um, giving, you know, somebody a pat on the back or whatever it might be, just it sounds like, okay, yeah, whatever. That's not important or I'll get to it later. It has to be intentional. It has to be a mindset where you intentionally think about um, your, your technicians and, and find something. There, there's there's got to be something with every plumber. They do something good at least once a week. It yes. just has to be. So find something. But it takes your intentionality of doing that. Even if you have to set a reminder on your phone, um, <laughs> give give the guys an attaboy today, whatever. And then you may have to think back over the last two days, okay, where right. was an attaboy that I can give them? Right. And it's a thing not to be so loosey with it, loosey goosey, where it just seems like, okay, of course he's just handing stuff out right. and doing mm-hmm. that. It ha- has to be, be genuine. Right. Let's right. be genuine. Right. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we're doing that. So, but you know, get away from just, you know, griping at the guys. Right. But that leads to you know, another point here mm-hmm. on, you know, recognizing reward. Mm-hmm. You, you must recognize and, and, um, uh, and there's, what's the opposite of reward? Okay. Punish. Punish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Punish. <laughs> Okay, those that are doing wrong. Okay, immediately, mm-hmm. immediately. That's true. Okay, so um, it's whatever was our company line. Like our, our meeting started at seven thirty. Mm-hmm. I locked the door at seven thirty. So if they were in, they they weren't here. They're outside. So it became very clear. And then it was an uncomfortable, com- you know, little meeting between he and and me. Mm-hmm. You know. A little, little awkward, mm-hmm. okay? Or, you know, another thing is, you know, we did the, the, the options, mm-hmm. you know, which we're, we're really big about. And, of course, that's one thing we we really... Giving the customer uh, options. Giving the customer options. Mm-hmm. Three options every single time, every single time, every single time, every single time. We had a guy that w- didn't give an option. I didn't wait to the next week's meeting to talk about it. Mm-hmm. It was what the... Hey, Joe, what happened here? Mm-hmm. You know, why, 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 no, why, why no options? Mm-hmm. Okay. Or why no pictures? Or I had to get out. Once we got we, started, we didn't walk pictures. out of. The, we didn't walk, and, and so it was so much part of our expectations. We didn't walk out of the house with, without going through our, our whole service sales process. Mm-hmm. We don't not about selling. It's about providing the options, expecting pushback, giving a discount. And then you know, still, it's you know what what's in your budget to taken care of today. Mm-hmm. And we have a whole process there that's easy. It closes ninety eight percent of your calls. Okay. We teach that in we the teach, academy, right? Mm-hmm. So it was every single time. Mm-hmm. Well, we had one time where the guy, it's, it's rare, it doesn't happen, but the, the customer happened to be Mr. Jones, mm-hmm. actually walked him out 
Vi- a scruff shirt. up his neck. Back, right. And he <laughs> <laughs> about a house. Toes. So it was a bad guy. It was, that, that was guy was bad. Not. Well, my guy calls, not from the truck or down the street, from the porch, <laughs> saying, so-and-so just threw me out of the house. I tried to give it. I, he, just was, was, he, just, he just blew up and all right, whatever, you know. And, you know, told me the situation. But from the porch, because it was so ingrained that we provide options, mm-hmm. you know. And he's seen other times where I've sent guys home. Sorry. So, you know, the punishment, okay. Mm-hmm. You, you walk out with a, you know, a 49. And the second one, there's a, four, you know, a 49 without going through the process. Hey, hey, Joe, why don't you head on home and just, you know, mm-hmm. obviously your head's not in the game. And, and uh, you know, be here tomorrow morning by 8 and mm-hmm. in my office and let's have a conversation. Right. You know? So, and um, yeah, so you do have to recognize direct disobedience because if you don't, it will um, spread like wildfire yes. in, through your team. Um, so they'll notice, how come Joe, it's always Plumber Joe, right. how come John, how, how come John never has his uniform on? How come he gets to get, how does he get away with never having his uniform um, on correctly? How come he gets to do that? <clears throat> and, it's, and it's the little things. The little things grow into big Excuse things. Me. Yes. So by little things, mm-hmm. you got to be right on it right now. So it's like they never came in. They were never in my, my presence with, with their shirt um, untucked, okay? They were never in the tech room with their shirt untucked, okay? It was a sign of, I created, that was a sign of disrespect, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, it was just, just how, how we did things. So you do have to address immediately. Direct. Immediately. So, hey, get yeah. your shirt tucked in. Or why, if they have a problem, right. And what would happen is the guys start doing it too. Your better guys start, start getting on it, mm-hmm. okay? No dirty shoes. We had red carpet in the tech room. Mm-hmm. So you didn't walk in. We had places to clean your shoes off and be cleaned out. Of. You didn't walk in the tech room, okay, with dirty shoes. Mm-hmm. You clean, you know. So it's it's those little things, and you say, well, that doesn't really matter. We're working. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, the little things give way to big things. Yes. You give an inch, mm-hmm. take a mile. Give a mile, mm-hmm. they're going to take your whole shop. Yep. Okay. So true. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So there, there we go. All right. Recognize hey. and reward. There Both. we go. That's mm-hmm. right. Hey, I got something for you for joining us as always here. Check it out. Hey, question for you. Where do you want your plumbing business to be this time next year? Stuck on the same dead end road, puttering along in a slow lane as life passes you by? Or are you ready to supercharge your plumbing business and put the pedal down in the fast lane to success? Hey, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber here to tell you that you'll do just that with my 2024 roadmap to plumbing business success where I lay out the exact mile markers you got to hit in order to have, manage, and grow a high-octane plumbing business with lots of great customers, a crew of plumbers eager to ride alongside you, and plenty of money in the tank. Now, you're going to want to buckle up because my roadmap ain't just some guy. It's the GPS to having a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. So, click the link or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash roadmap to grab your free copy of my 2024 Roadmap to Plumbing Business Success. And let's roll. All right, welcome back. All right, welcome back here. We're talking turning pipe dreams into reality. So clever. And we're in our second part of our four-part series. We are. And I just want to tell everybody, if you would please give us a review, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, all the wonderful things. Subscribe if you're watching on YouTube or wherever um, you're listening or watching, share some love. You guys know how this works. I'm um, giving good reviews. Share gets the word love, out baby. there. So thank you guys. Appreciate it. Yes. But we are talking, turning pipe dreams into reality. And we've talked about evaluating um, our team's expectations or your expectations for your team, right? right? Making clear expectations and then also recognizing and rewarding um, good behavior as well as recognizing and punishing and punishing bad, bad behavior. behavior. Yes. Yeah. So what's the next one that you got there? Million dollar plumber as we are turning our pipe dreams into reality and talking about our biggest asset, our biggest asset being our guys. Correct. Okay. Our technicians. And it brings us down to our third point and this is key. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> All right. This is so, so, so important. And it's this mm-hmm. always be recruiting. <laughs> and everybody's like, you've said this a million times. Recruit, yes. recruit, recruit. <laughs> we have. Okay. You're always recruiting. I didn't say you're hiring. You say, well, I'm not, you know, I'm a hire. I don't need to hire, whatever. You're always recruiting so that you can hire. Okay. You're never, yeah, that's one of the biggest, you know, there aren't any good plumbers out there. There's never been enough good plumbers. All right. Um, and that's, and it's the same in any industry because we're always looking for them right now, whatever it is, you know, I need, I need whatever person right now. Well, there's and nowhere is someone available right now. 
Okay. Not, and certainly not good ones. I mean, you, you can get the bums off the street, right? you know, whatever. Day laborers. Right. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Or a guy that hasn't been plumbing because he's been fired or can't do it or whatever. He's mm-hmm. not working. He's available. I'm talking good guys. So you're right. always recruiting. Mm-hmm. This is professional plumbing. So it's, you know, just like the NFL, you know, the, all the owners of the, you know, are, are the teams are all friends and all that, but they're all recruiting each other's players. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. You're, you're not stealing players. Yeah. You're wanting a better, you know, <sighs> That, okay. that line, I know we've talked about this. You, you want times. the guys that are playing first string. Correct. Okay. You don't want the guys that are barely on the team. Right. Okay. Yes. So um, I'm going to have to say it again. Stop thinking that you're stealing, if you're take, you know, stealing from another plumbing business owner's text, that you're stealing from him. That's crap. That's stupid. That's stupid thinking. It's stupid mindset if you're thinking that. Because, again, if you offer, if you offer a better position, better pay, better benefits, better um, work atmosphere, better equipment, yes. all the things um, for plumbers in your area, why would you not want to offer it to the plumbers why in your you area? Why are you being so selfish? Why are you being so selfish? I mean, that's just, I, I, that line of thinking is just ridiculous. Well, so you're going to allow, hold on a second, babe. you're going to allow <laughs> some other- The lovely lore is on a, <laughs> on a rant, look out. You're, you're going to hold, not allow, I guess you're going to hold back and not share this great experience for a plumber who, who would love that, who would love to not work nights and weekends, have better benefits, have a better working atmosphere, whatever it is that you offer that's a differentiator. Why would you not offer that to them? You're not, so-, so if you say you're stealing from that other plumbing business owner that, and, and a plumber leaves his shop to come to yours, that's on that other plumbing business owner, not on you. That means that he hasn't offered um, a job that plumbers want. He hasn't offered benefits or pay or working conditions or whatever it might be that plumbers in your area want. That's on him. That's not on you. Don't, don't let some other, some plumbers who might be great plumbers be stuck somewhere that they're unhappy when you've got a, a great, um, opportunity for them that 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 line of thinking is just stupid right. sorry I and i will say stupid it's it, stupid it is stupid mm-hmm. well it's it's ignorant because all, we, we come from plumbers so it's really that's butt crack plumber thought mm-hmm. okay and we're talking about thinking like a ceo Correct. okay but and was, then, was, hold on i'm not done and, then, and also then if then the other plumbing business owners like oh gosh i'm starting to lose text to this to this other guy who's got all these great you know, benefits and opportunities and whatever, then he's going to up his game, right? Okay, well, gosh, I need to compete. Well, then what's that, what's going to happen then? Then it's going to make um, working conditions for plumbers better. It elevates the trade and then it forces the other plumbing business owners in that area to all do that so that um, plumbers can then decide, okay, well, I really like the, the atmosphere at this company or I'd like the, the family atmosphere at this other company, whatever. They, they're the ones that can decide. So, all right, right. that's all I'm going to say about that. All right. So you're always, always recruiting mm-hmm. also because, you know, and I hear this all the time. I, I got a great crew. They're going to be with me forever. Nope. We all love each other. It's a, we're a team, all that. <laughs> no, you're no, not. not. <laughs> no, no, you're not. I, we've heard it. It's, I, I've given my example. I won't, I've already given a, an example, of, you know, of our business, but, but I have, I have multiple of these examples yes. of coming in on Monday morning and whatever. These are the best guys on Friday and it's a whole, you know, cause this life, they have their own lives. Yes. They, they have their own oddities. Stuff happens. They have their, they look at the grass may look greener on the other side or they just get tired of being where they're at or mm-hmm. what, whatever. They don't, they don't like, they don't like Joe. The other one, yeah, you know, the other technician. Yeah. It has, has right. an issue. Right. Mm-hmm. What, what, whatever it, it is, they'll, they'll be gone. Okay. Mm-hmm. And they usually are gone like in, you know, twos and threes. You know, just like, I, and they just, it, I, but only when your schedule's full. You know, right, exactly. <laughs> right. So you, <laughs> that is all right. You're, you're bringing up some, uh, I know. <laughs> some stuff. Oh, because, see, yeah. some of these episodes give me like a right. heartburn or stomach ache. Remembering. Because the worry is always, is you're worried about your guys leaving when you're slow. Right. No, no. I'm worried about guys leaving when we're just, we're fat. We got so much work yeah. because Both that's, are ringing off the hook. because that's when they think the grass is greener somewhere else and all. And, or I, you know, I, I want to become a pro bass fisherman, you know, which <laughs> real life <laughs> happen. Or I want to go live off grid. Right. Like real no life more. or <laughs> no more, no my more. one cow had a calf <laughs> so i got to take maternity leave real life <laughs> and these are grown men that were all doing great on friday and come in on 
Monday, you know, and then you always, you, you'll have the one that just, the truck is there with his uniforms in there. Uh, no, no, you know, there's just the, you know, the, the scared, the scared boys. Joe's you know? truck's here. Yeah. Um, and he's, he's really early. He's never early. <laughs> he's never early. Oh, there's right. no Joe. Right. <laughs> just his uniforms. <laughs> for, for whatever, whatever reason, it happens. Yes, it does. Okay. So. And so you can't grow your plumbing business or you, you can't make money if you don't have guys, guys working for you. Yes. And so expect it. it. It's just like. That your guys coming and going are is just like your your you know calls coming and going the seasonality of the calls it, it just happens mm -hmm. so prepare for it and the way to prepare for it is to always be recruiting always be recruiting always have something out online on, certainly on your website that um, now hiring you know hiring hiring great technicians um, again you when you put those ads or, or that information out there, don't start out with great pay, great benefits, blah, blah, blah. That's just, that's just blanding as Dan Antonelli likes to say, that is not, that's blanding, not branding. You want to start out with whatever your differentiator is between the other plumbing companies in your area. And if you, you know, been listening to us for a while and you decided I'm not working nights and weekends, our company isn't, that's your main, main differentiator. No nights, no weekends, no on call, no holiday. Put that top and center. Now the rest of it is all, yes, great pay, great benefits, great equipment, blah, 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 all the things. Um, but it needs to be on your website. You need to um, use um, you know, the, the job boards and stuff. Um, we recommend Applicant Pro. Applicant Pro is one place that, that does all that for you. Um, and then the, another place. Oh, and then when if someone calls in, hey, are you hiring? The answer is always, always, yes, yes, always. So make sure whoever's answering your phone knows the answer to that question and where to then direct them um, how they can apply. And again, typically it's going to be on your website where they can fill out a short application. Short application. Don't have them jump through all these different hoops on you know this three page application. That's stupid. Get a sh the basic information and then get them in for an interview. Right. So you get them in for an interview. And uh, often that, you know, well, we have the whole process with that in the Success Academy. Yes, okay? we do. It, it's really easy. It's, it's, an easy. it's an easy process just to have, you know, it's, a, it's an evergreen process. We call it where it's just, it's ongoing. It's, it's ever living. Yes. Okay. But you need to have that in place. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whether you're looking to hire or not. And, you know, because you don't know when you're going to come in on Monday morning and, and you know, two of your guys have up and quit. For whatever reason, it doesn't matter. It, it do, doesn't matter. Now, it, it always happens. That's what made us laugh. It always happens when you're full. It doesn't happen when you're slow. Not that it doesn't ever happen. But, but, it, but when maybe it, because you feel it more. Right. Yeah, that's, you notice it more when that happens. But it's, but it, it you know, you, you got all these calls and now you've lost the opportunity, the wave, the wave right there. And mm -hmm. now you're trying to look for good guys. And what, and so since you have the work, you wind up settling for bad guys, guys right. who aren't working for whatever reason, which is usually not good. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're always hiring. Yes. You want to build a culture that, that, that we're always hiring and you want to make it sound good with your guys. So you don't let your guys think whether well, because your guys are going to think, well, they're going to take work from me or this or that, or mm -hmm. how can, you know, right. uh, you know, right. we, we, we were slow. We were slow today or mm -hmm. yesterday. So how are we, why are we looking for guys when we were slow yesterday in the afternoon at four o'clock, we were slow. <laughs> It, 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 you can't, you know, you can't live there. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got to build the culture of, Hey, we're growing. We got good things going here and we need, we need great team members and, mm -hmm. you know, and good guys to play, play, you know, and going on places. our team. Right. Mm -hmm. And so have us always out looking. Yes. Okay. Always be recruiting. Right. Never stop. So um, again, you're having people fill out applications and so you've got applications and have a conversation with them. Even if you know you're not hiring, go ahead and have a conversation with them. And then you've got um, a Rolodex if you will, kind of yes. using old vernacular, of ones that you can call on um, that you've already established a relationship with when you are in the need of another plumber. And, you, and, and you're always in need of another plumber. You just are. Yeah. So. Definitely. All right. Always be recruiting. Can, right. Can't stress that one enough. Okay. That, that's the biggie right there. Always be recruiting. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, good one here. I know. All right. Turning pipe hey. dreams into reality. All right. Hey, and if you're looking for help to turn your pipe dream into a reality, let's talk. Okay, let's have a conversation. All right, and it's free. All right, not gonna, and we're not hitting you up for anything. Okay, I mentioned a success academy. If we thought that would work, or it could be a solution or whatever, it may point you that way. Okay, um, and we have a free trial and that kind of stuff that you can try we out. Do. But mm -hmm. just have a talk. Look, our, our hearts here are to help you. Okay, if I help you, it winds up helping us and our whole industry. Exactly. We're lifting everybody up. Exactly. Okay. All right. So simply go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash call. All right, and you can have a conversation with a success coach. Yep. Okay. Do it today. All right. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. All right. Good one, baby. All right. Another one in the can.
Hey, but before we let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody. Bye.